This is select print. Print. This is the select print. Okay. Yeah. This right. is the select print. I, I in good conscience, couldn't put anything below the border for a uh, family. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sorry. And you know, I told him you that. Know, I said, quite frankly, the board I, likes I, to I keep it in the local company. Absolutely. You know, I'd like to keep yeah. it within our state if I could. Put the 36 bucks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, we're not talking yeah. huge money. Yeah, absolutely not. And if we reduce it down to 700, we'll be lower. Yeah. Um, was that a motion? That's now in the country. Now in the country. For 700 bucks. Yes. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Proposed expenditure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, capital reserve expenditure, um, transfer station heavy equipment line. We had an estimate for uh, trading that back in. Uh, what the, the John Deere? The, the John Deere, yeah. So we just band aided it last year. We didn't dump a ton of money into that, correct? Right. This is the one that's a transfer, right? Yeah. And Warren says that that thing's got a lot of issues that could potentially cost quite a the bit of money. The existing one, yeah. yeah. And we've been avoiding it. it and not dumping any money into it. And is the John Deere comparable to what they had in there? I thought, I thought the cap was a little bit, 416 was a little bit bigger than the one they're proposing here. I mean, as far as... I would assume uh, Warren knows what he wants. Yeah. Yeah, it's well, they, they, they do a lot of work with that. That's what I'm It's got the extended hole on it. I yeah. like that. Yeah. He's yeah, yeah, filled tires. He's the other thing about that. 46.5, and they'll give us 16.5 for what we got down there. I think that's a pretty good number for the one at the. Yeah. <coughs> Almost 7,000 hours on the machine we have, and this one has 2,000, so it's used, which is kind of the directional sentiment. Mm -hmm. I would just question as he looked at any other um, equipment. He, he called in two other uh, places. I don't know exactly who they were. One didn't get back to him at all, and the other one did. I don't know what the. Or were they both both of those John Deere, or were they other makes? This is what I'd like to know. Because John Deere seems to be a little pricey with a lot of their products, and mm -hmm. might be able to find a piece of equipment of equivalent value that might be less. I think it's all kind of expensive, especially the American product versus the Japanese stuff. I, just one comment on that. I mean, I know you mentioned you're getting good money for the Caterpillar, because it's Caterpillar. The John Deere is definitely a little less money than a cat. Mm -hmm. You're going to buy it, but you're going to get it back when you do trade it in again. 
Do you have the, on, on the size, they're 416 versus a 310 John Deere. What's the size? The 310 is definitely a little small. That's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, again, I think the 310 will do the job they need to do now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just crushing the yeah. paper and buying it. We have expensive equipment. You don't have any, you think that that's good? Uh, yeah, I do think it's, it's uh, I'm sure they, you know, if you get a machine with 2,000 hours on, it's better than a machine with 7,000 hours. Yeah. But, you know, I, Mm -hmm. You know, you probably won't get the same, you know, value on a trading later. Yeah. You know, cap, but you got to pay more money for a used cap than you than you will out for sure. Yeah. So. Thanks, Tom. Better trade thirty six thousand, still be fifty fifty six, fifty seven in there. We need to do it. I Want a motion for that? Sure. I'll give you the motion to expend the thirty thousand dollars to purchase a new uh, backhoe. Just uh, what three ten? Ten SJ backhoe. Yeah. A second. Any more discussion? He he did try to source it. Okay. All right. I just looked in the a couple of the books just to see what the numbers were, and they were a little bigger than that. There wasn't a lot out there mm -hmm. um, in that range there. Um, I think I was looking at some bigger equipment too, but um, that seems to be you know, something with a couple thousand hours in, so you don't have to worry about scratching as much. It comes with a couple of scratches. And so. Yeah, no, I, I don't have the problem with going use, but you know, I, I, I'm just a little bit concerned with John Deere versus Cash. You know, I, guess. I think it's a reputable. One thing we didn't look at. Yeah. When I think when I think of John Deere, I think of someone who's got yeah, I don't think of, I don't think of it down there for the transfer station. Yeah. Maybe it's just a phobia I have in the cat with John Deere, but come well, in nineteen seventy eight I ran a John Deere three ten for about two years straight. So they've been around a long time. What's the I wonder what kind of a warranty service they have with this. Is it any mention of it? No, it's no. Uh, they got checked. They checked. They Yeah. And they had that already checked. So I'm assuming Warren and him had discussed the warranty issue. Mm -hmm. It's pretty hard to get a warranty on a rubber tire back. <laughs> yeah. And probably yeah, awesome. hard to come by. We found a good one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm, I don't know any more discussion here at all. All in favor? You heard all of mine tonight. Yeah, yeah, good job. Uh, I just got one small thing. I got a phone call about the garbage down by uh, the skate park. I haven't had a chance to call Wayne, but you know people are. Yeah, Alyssa called me. So I don't know if they got the call or not. Wayne's been on vacation this week, but Alyssa called me yesterday. She said them all picked up, big bags down there, are ready to go. She didn't have to pick up drugs, so she asked if we were ready when he comes up this way tomorrow if he could pick it up. So I left a message at the transfer station. Was it just scattered stuff? I think it was scattered, yeah. and so it's been cleaned. It's, they have the barrels, which I guess is the same as what they have mm -hmm. over at the Turntable Park. I don't know if they just, if it happened and they hadn't been down there, or yeah. if, if they need a, a, the access that uh, the Mayas have indicated to me that they could go on their property to get to it if they had Why, is it on their property? No, no but I oh. think you know, if you needed a truck to go down there, if there's Budget. We're down to just a few items left, and uh, 
update from the budget committee. We're moving the 30th to the 5th. Is that something like that? Yeah, the 5th until that day. Yeah. Because we couldn't have some of our numbers together, so we're. Just insurance is a couple of the main things out there. It's left. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I got. Selectman's letter of appreciation. Was on there for a volunteer thing. I don't know. He's just looking for getting the glue, glue chairs here. Can I actually? Can I make a recommendation? Sure. Um, I would recommend Philip, but I would also recommend um, Ron Bingo because he took the time to do that step out front. Exactly. Um, so step. maybe you could do a dual one for helping mm -hmm. out repairs at the town hall. You know, something to that effect. Yeah. Um, so they do. They have stepped up. And yeah. It was very nice. It, that step took a long time to settle. And Straight, you'd come on to it. So it's it's on their parcel. It's on yeah. their parcel. And it's, it's the park. They park. They're, they're not gating the road. Nope, they're just gating yeah. their property. They used to be the old Maples Inn. Right. They just haven't, you know, they've come up over the years and this and that. They eventually would really like to build something there. They just haven't obviously had the opportunity to do that. So they want to, you know, they were kind of told that, you know, to deter people away because they have some sort of, um, I don't know if there's a well or something on that property, there's old steps, old foundations, you know, yeah. foundation, you know, that people can get really seriously hurt on it if they're not trying to do post the land. So the legal, all these recommendations we made to them, and they're willing to do all this if they can get the trash out of there. And well, should they want to do it whether or not they can get the trash out of there or not? Yeah, <laughs> Unless they want more trash on there. But you got my, I think you got my email today, the letter that she's requesting. Now, I think the town drove into that and turns around for plowing. Right. That's where they turn around. So with that gate, we won't be able to go in there anymore. Right, which we, uh, I've already told Dan that. So some of her, her reasoning, you know, some of the questions in her mind are, well, if you weren't doing that, 
would it have 